guys what's going on this is jack attack 45 and today i'm getting back into the subscriber squad builders i haven't done one in a little bit because i've been having so much fun playing with my own squad but uh today i have the muslim squad made by assassin fx make sure to leave his channel down in the description below go check it out uh i really do appreciate him sending in a squad that was top requested this was one of the highest rated ones on a couple of videos actually so uh i really do enjoy you guys leaving the comments down below letting me know what you want to see next i've been just going based off your guys's feedback so so I haven't been able, I've just been receiving so many submissions that it's hard for me to pick one. So I'm basically just going off whatever you guys want to see. So uh, yeah, make sure to leave those suggestions down below. But uh, I do have a lot of players to go through today. I got a, um, a few that aren't on the squad, but he wanted me to mention as well, um, being that they are Muslim. So we're going to get through and we're going to try to go through these as quick as we can. Up at striker, we have Kone, 83 pace from the Ivory Coast. Only silver player on the squad, but a pretty good player. He's a decent finisher. And uh, he is basically there for chemistry. Um, the first choice would have been Robin Van Persie, but uh, obviously he's kind of expensive, and uh, Assassin did not have the coins for him. Moving on to left wing, we have Afali, uh, plays for Barcelona. I've had him in one of the subscriber squad builders before. Four star skills, uh, 85 long shot. Um, 85 rated long shots is really good, guys. I love the long shot uh, trait. Uh, in game in game stats are always nice, and uh, four star weak foot as well. And then moving on, we have Mr. Forehead over here, as KSI would call him, Gervinho. 91 pace. Look at that. He is way too fast, and uh, obviously good player. Four star skills. Plays for Arsenal. Four star weak foot as well. Moving on to the midfields, we have Kita from Barcelona. And uh, he's just there basically to provide chemistry um, between all of the Liga BBVA players. Not the best player, but he does have 85 strength, so uh, that's quite good there. And then moving on to the other midfield, we have Daria. No. Diara. Diara. That is his name. Sorry, guys. I keep I keep messing those up. But I'm getting better at my pronunciations. I'm trying. Um, Nazaru would probably be better in this position, but uh, once again, Assassin said doesn't have enough coins Nazri obviously going to be quite expensive but uh, he does have 90 aggression so he is a beast in the midfield going to be uh, helping the back four play some defense obviously Nazri would be the first choice however way way too expensive and then moving on to the other center mid we have Diaby another player from Arsenal 86 strength and he has a little bit of pace not too much but uh, he's got good dribbling and uh, obviously just there to provide the chemistry link I really do appreciate the 100 chemistry I love to look for teams with the 100 chemistry moving on to the back four we have Abadel you guys all know him quite a good left back 78 pace along with that 82 defending he's very well known and uh, you know just a great all around left back I'd pick him for my team for sure moving on to the center back we have Rami 54 pace only on him. 84 defending, however, pretty good player. Um, you know, he's going to make up for it with his 93 strength and his 85 interceptions if he's not in the right spot. Um, he can't really run there that fast, but uh, he's definitely going to be um, positioned quite well to begin with, so he's quite a good center back. And another center back that I love to have on my team is Sacco. 74 pace, 84... 84 heading and 80 defending really great player had him in FIFA 11 have him in FIFA 12 now as well and uh, all, all around just a pretty much a beast 93 jumping 85 strength and 86 aggression so definitely a good player back in the back four and then moving on we have Sanya and uh, Sanya I've had him uh, in FIFA 11 haven't had him in FIFA 12 yet but uh, obviously look at that pace and uh, defending gonna be a great right back um, and he has awesome dreads as well so quite a good player back there and then the goalkeeper and in form doesn't have any chemistry link but uh, that's not a big deal because of course this is the Muslim team so we're gonna have a lot of different nationalities and leagues but this is had Danovic Handanovic I don't know, I don't know something like that but uh, all around a pretty good goalkeeper in form obviously but uh, there wasn't too many good Muslim goalkeepers so that is why he is in there but uh, I was pretty surprised that he could still get that hundred chemistry so there is the starting lineup for the Muslim squad I don't know if I mentioned this before but it's an 80 rated four and a half squad four and a half star squad um, with Arsene Wenger of course as the manager and then there is some other um, honorable mentions that are basically too expensive or they just didn't make it in the squad um, most of them are too expensive however um, Jekko at striker we have Jekko and Anelka two more Muslim players of course at left wing we have Ribery Frank Mr. 
King Farak over there. Tehran, he's Turkish. Um, he might be in here, actually. I thought I saw him. Nope, that's a different guy. But um, all these guys down here are Muslim. Um, we have Torre. We have Kalu um, from Chelsea. We have Sissoko. And uh, I think that's Sissoko as well. Both uh, two different spellings there, but looks like the same name. And then, of course, all these players down here are Muslim as well. Who else did I miss? I missed uh, Taiwao from Milan, Milan Yaya Torre, um, obviously amazing. Um, Robin, Robin Van Persie, obviously, Nazari, and uh, that is about it. So I think that's all of the Muslim players that he has on here. A lot of good ones in here, a lot of French players, you know. So I really did enjoy this squad, guys. I didn't actually know that these guys were all Muslim. Forehead up there, looking awesome. Gervinho, I love him. He's a beast. And then, of course, you know, the Sako in the back. Whew, he is a beast. I can't even I can't even stress that enough. But thank you for Assassin to uh, sending it in and the Imperial guy, Assassin's friend, who actually helped him out a lot in building this squad. So thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know. I know Modern Warfare 3 is stealing all my views, but I'm not I'm not gonna complain about it anymore. I'm not gonna complain. Just a few more times. But guys, thanks so much. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, if you did like the um, awesome graphics at the beginning. Make sure to go check out um, Liam91 on Twitter. Make sure to leave his Twitter down below. He designed that for me. Great graphics designer. I really do appreciate everything that he's been doing for me. And make sure to leave suggestions down below. Jack Attack 45 signing out. Peace.